I'm going to join Musharraf Zaidi, who's a Pakistani analyst and policy development advisor. Do you think that uh, uh, Gilani's speech will do enough to satisfy some of the critics of Pakistan who've suggested these allegations of complicity or incompetence? Well, as a, as a Pakistani, I'm less concerned about the critics of Pakistan sitting outside this country who haven't had to live with the war that's been going on in this country since 2001, who haven't had to live with the dictators that have been supported by the United States since 2001 during the 80s. I'm more concerned about the reaction at home. And I don't think that in any way, shape or form, the prime minister did anything to assuage Pakistani citizens, Pakistani voters, Pakistanis who are worried about their own security and about the functionality of this country. So I think the bigger concern for Pakistanis sitting in Pakistan is whether or not PM Gilani addressed their fears, their concerns, their insecurities. And I have to say that none of those things were, uh, were addressed. Uh, this was a very poor speech. It was basically a cut and paste job from the sort of meandering and uh, bungling statements that have come out of the foreign ministry, that have come out of the uh, military, and that have come out of the uh, Ministry for Information. Let me bring uh, you, there's on, nothing on new that, that point, he said, and there was no Shamsul, recognition of the failure. Yeah. Let me bring in Wajid Shamsul Hassan on that point. Was it a bungling uh, cut and paste job, that speech? Well, I wonder what, what he means by that, Mr. Zaidi, because it was a very comprehensive speech. It do whatever it will, whatever has happened since 9-11 or even before that. We are, we, are not, we, are, we are not involved in this war just now that or 9-11. We have been there in it since almost over 32 years fighting the Soviet unions. And I'm, I would recall here Selig Harrison's comment in 2001 that uh, I had warned CIA not to create Taliban and Al-Qaeda. It will become a Frankenstein and it will not be easy to handle. Okay. And that let is just, what happened. Let me just bring, back in, sorry, let me just bring back in uh, Musharraf Zaidi. Do you think that the history uh, side of the speech is going to convince anyone that there weren't mistakes or that there weren't serious mistakes? No, I think there's a recognition uh, within Pakistani state and society that mistakes have been made in the past. But I think the Pakistani people are beginning to wonder how long we'll continue to base our incompetence today on poor decisions that we made in the past. Certainly, uh, other countries are not free of blame, and I think Gilani did a good job of going through that. But it's really a rehashing of things that we've heard before. I think what the Pakistani people want to hear is is some degree of confidence building for the future, how the Pakistani state will respond to this, how it will protect the lives of the Pakistani people, and how it will ensure that Pakistan isn't made to look like a like a pariah and rogue nation. And I, I have to say that I feel very sorry, and I, I have a great de degree of sympathy for people like Wajid Shamsul Hassan, for people like Ambassador Hussain Akhani, who have to deal with the, with the Western media, uh, you know, sitting in London and Washington, D.C., and their governments have failed these ambassadors because they've, they've failed to give them the raw material that they require to defend Pakistan adequately. OK, I'm, I'm just going to quickly bring back in uh, Ambassador Hassan on that point. Do, do, do you, how do you answer that? Well, I really am uh, amazed at the comment of Mr. Zaidi because uh, we are fully aware, the ambassadors are fully aware what is happening. We have been keeping track of all the events ever since uh, Osama's murder, well, this assassination and this killing in Abdabad, and also what has happened in the past. And we have been fighting our own battle everywhere that to bring the things in the right perspective, to convince Washington that their needs has to be not only a military action, but has to, uh, they have to have a dialogue with, with the parties so that the region is brought to peace. You know, the way the things are being handled, the things are not going to lead the way to peace. We have to have some sort of rethinking over all the policies that we have been carrying on since 9-11. Okay, I'm mean, a good you point know, to The stop real issues are not being taken. We've been running, we're running out of time, but thank you very much indeed. Uh, in Islamabad, uh, Musharraf Zaidi, and in London, uh, High Commissioner of Pakistan to the UK, Wajid Shamsul Hassan. We appreciate your time. Thank you, gentlemen.